Hello everybody. So my friend uh, Dave Oaks has fixed this. I, I found this at an auction house nearby me. It's one of those uh, English zither banjos. And on the whole, people sort of sneer at this particular type of banjo that its tone is not so special. And you know, every banjo has its thing. And what this banjo has is an incredibly bright voice. So you just have to um, stay off of it a little bit and let uh, its, its um, what would you say, its positives come through. So I'm going to do um, a version of the Dreadnought, which is, you know, a song about a clipper ship, a packet, uh, from Liverpool to New York. So what is that? The 1880s, 1870s, 1890s. And this style banjo was made, you know, around that time and a little bit later. So it's sort of an uh, appropriate piece to be uh, um, uh, melodically correct for this kind of instrument. so bright so if I stay up the neck a little bit I should be able to make this thing hum really nicely here we go the dreadnought There's a saucy wild packet, a packet of fame. It sails from New York, and the dreadnought's her name. Bound away to the west, where the wild winds do blow. She's a Liverpool packet, oh Lord, let her go. Derry down, 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 Derry down. And the dreadnought's awaiting in the river Mersey. To tower to see, to round those great rocks where the wild winds do blow. She's a liver, pull back it all, or let her go, dairy down, 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 dairy down, and the dreadnoughts so flying the wild Irish sea. Passengers merry, their hearts full of glee, our sailors like lions walk the decks through it. She's a lover, pull back it all, Lord, let her go. Very down, 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 very down. Ooh. Flying the Atlantic so wide, the wide open seas roll along her backsides with the sails tautly set, the Red Cross to show. She's a Liverpool packet, oh Lord, let her go. Derry down, 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 Derry down. Now the dreadnoughts arriving in New York once more. Shore shipmates to the girls you adore, to the wives and your sweethearts, how happy you'll be. Drink out to the dreadnought, wherever you may be. Dairy down, 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 dairy down. Here's out to the dreadnought and all of her crew. Oh, Captain Samuels and his officers, too. You can keep your flash packets, wild tail and black pole. The dreadnoughts, the flying, and we'll beat them all. Derry down, 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 derry down, derry down, 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 derry down. <laughs> so, I love this banjo. 
it's just a wonderful thing. Something went out of tune. There we go. So let's see, what's another English one that... Couldn't be nicer. If it had better pegs on it, it would be kind of nice. But uh, so, what did Dave do to this thing? The um, the the fingerboard was rotten, so he's he's had to refurbish it, and I don't know exactly how he pulled it together because it's it looks pretty good. And um, uh, let's see the the pegs were a little odd. Oh, it had a broken skin. So he made a new skin for it, and you can tell it's perfect. But um, I think I got this at auction maybe four years ago, and it was uh, such a um, you know an odd job to fix that it took him a long time to get around to it. Plus, I need a wider neck, and this has a very very thin, you know, typical of the English banjo, it's very thin uh, at the nut. Not. I don't mean thin this way, I mean that the width is very, not very wide. Okay, you guys, well, I just wanted to give you a, a sound check on what an English zither banjo sounds like, and they're, they can be very, very useful. It's a, it's a beautiful instrument, and I'm extremely happy to have it in the arsenal. If I ever want something where the voice has to punch out in front, this is definitely the banjo for that. Okay, thanks everybody. We'll talk to you another time.